faith, grace, love, connection is righteousness. Whoa, good morning everybody. It is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas to everybody. I love you. Jesus loves you. And we are celebrating the birth of our Savior, our Lord, our King, Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah, the anointed King who sits on David's throne in the city of David. That's who the Messiah is. That's who Jesus is. So this is, I'm wearing one of two shirts I got myself for Christmas because I got them because they're on a clearance rack at Walmart. I just happened to go to that particular Walmart because the other Walmart didn't have something I needed and I walked by the clearance rack and there were these two shirts that fit me for $5 a piece. Uh, I was like, well, Merry Christmas to me. Yeah. And now I want to point out, I'll pick up a pen as a pointer, and I want to point out my boss, Hanson, he got for me a pair of Christmas socks. Can you see it? He got for me habanero sauce. He got for me a 30 round magazine for my AR. He got me 50 rounds of 45 ACP so we can go shooting and practice with my 1911. 1911. Yeah. And uh, that uh, barbecue sauce right back there in that bottle, that was given to me by my uh, immediate supervisor, Trish. And so those have made the this year's addition to the background. And of course, my background is Christmas all the time because I just add things that come along. And I, I, that just reminds me of a, a friend. I went through a situation, I think it's seven, uh, 2017, and I have a friend now, and we keep in touch, but there was something we were both going through and something, and she said something, said, can it just be Christmas? And my response was, yes, it can. We can it can be Christmas every day. And so that's why I have, I don't take those decorations down. Those are gifts and cards that people have given to me. Um, I appreciate that. Now let me tell you the story about this Mixer, you see this mixer? This box has a mixer on it. I already told you the story about ordering a mixer that came with 21 things. It had uh, uh, measuring cups and measuring spoons and, and uh, stainless steel bowls. And, and so then they sent me the mixer and the other stuff didn't come along with it. It was only one order, one shipping thing. So no one can make heads or tail of it. So I returned that, okay? They said, just return it. So I returned it. Then I got a Hamilton Beach that came to me, and it was actually used. It had fingerprints and stuff all over, and it didn't have a low speed. So I returned that. So then I was looking at this KitchenAid, which I am a KitchenAid fan, because if you're not going to go Hobart Kitchen uh, equipment, then the KitchenAid is a really good uh, uh, high-end home uh, appliance uh, option. And, but it was $79 and it was $49 on sale. And I'm like, I really have to go for that. And I wasn't quite sure. And then all of a sudden this box shows up, that box. And on the other side, it shows the picture of the stainless steel bowls, the mixing, uh, uh, the mixing uh, cups and, and measuring spoons, the, mixing, the measuring cups and measuring spoons. And I'm like, well, you know what? I can't give those, I've already got, I already returned this, the stuff, so, I mean, it's mine, there's nothing I can do with it, so I kept the, and so I opened it up today, this morning, I opened it up, and it's not just that, the mixer, another mixer was in there with it, so if I had kept the first one that they sent, I would have ended up with two mixers, so the mixers, now I got my, I got my KitchenAid. I got the kitchen. I'm keeping the kitchen aid, but you know what I did? I'm keeping the mixing bowls because that's why I really want it. I want to stand and still mixing bowls. That's a really good deal. But now, tomorrow, when I go do my outreach tomorrow morning, which I do every Christmas, I wrap some things up and I go and I give out gifts to strangers because that's just a really cool thing to do. I really like doing it. Been doing it for years. Um, uh, people get people get touched by the Lord by that and so that's something I like to do I'm not pat myself on you know we all have traditions I'm usually alone on Christmas and so I developed a tradition for myself and that is go out and give to people that are out at the convenience stores and stuff so but someone is going to get themselves a brand new hand mixer 
with the beaters and the whisks for making whipped cream and things like that. And it's a full-fledged mixer. And they're getting the, because I already have uh, measuring spoons and, and measuring cups. So they're getting a set of measuring spoons, a set of measuring cups, and a brand new mixer. Somebody tomorrow is going to be blessed with that. Praise God. I've got the mixing bowls I wanted. And I got a great gift for somebody tomorrow. And I got my KitchenAid mixer. And instead of $41, which was the original thing I wanted to spend, I spent 50, 49 bucks. And uh, that's awesome. So that's my story for, for Christmas. Um, I've just been blessed. I, I went to, I stopped by men's group with a word. You're gonna get part of that word this next week. Um, but with a word, and the anointing of God came on me, and I, I had to go right back into, into the, the building, and I ended up praying for every single one of the men there. The anointing was powerful on me. I've not felt the anointing on me like that in years. And I just thank my God for that, because I thought I'd never experience that anointing again. And so that was a Christmas gift from God for me. Uh, of course, you know, this is the, you know, we do faith, firearms, and food on this channel. And so we're talking about faith right now. So that's something that, that really touched my heart from God to me to be able to feel tan the tangible presence of the Holy Spirit and the power of God to emanate from my hands to transfer to others. And I've not, like I said, I've not, I've not had that manifestation in a lot of years. Um, and so that was a Christmas present to me from God. So now we're going to do a couple of scriptures this week. We're going to, uh, we're going to start with Luke 2, 14, 13 and 14, and we're going to end with Luke uh, uh, 2, 14 and 15. In between that, we're going to look at uh, Matthew 1, 21 and 23 in between in between that and those are basically our christmas scriptures and it is i'm calling this christmas week um uh, because people don't take their lights down until after the first of the year so we got this week to do christmas messages right amen so the stuff that we left off on on friday um we're going to pick up on in the first of the year um in terms of the things of noah and the things that, that we're going through uh it did Noah was Noah a preacher of repentance and we're, we got a couple more to do on that and we're going to show through the scripture and that that's uh, that that what the answer to that is okay so Luke 2 14 what does it mean where is the emphasis we're gonna start at Luke uh, 2 13 and 14 well let's okay and suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards men glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards men now in much of tradition you know I if you look at greeting cards and you watch movies and stuff, it's has really been diluted to peace on earth between men. And we've got a lot of scriptures for that, um, for people to love each other. Um, but this scripture is not talking about peace on earth between men. You know this scripture is talking about something so much greater so that part of it when we see that peace on earth towards man and mankind you know being nice to mankind but well, that's not what the scripture is talking about now Jesus said you know in his two great commands love your God with all your heart your soul and your strength and your and your neighbor as yourself well that's your peace and goodwill between mankind right there uh, you know so that's what we can base that on so yes we should be showing peace and goodwill towards our neighbors mankind but that's not what the scriptures talking about and the angels were praising God saying glory to God in the highest 
So now we know that this is all about God. It's all about God. 14 continues, and on earth, peace and goodwill towards men. Peace and goodwill towards men. This is very significant to understand this rightly. And we'll be, uh, because man's tradition has made this verse peace and goodwill between men, and we you know, just talked about that, and we need to make sure that we have the full strength and power that of the word, of the king, of the voice, the way the voice has spoken it. And when we change the meaning, we take away the power and it becomes convoluted and it is actually setting us astray from what God, the King, Jesus, is putting into place. So if that's what we understand this verse, then you do not understand this verse, or if that's how you understand this verse, that's not how this this verse is to be understood. The great significance of what has taken place, and now what are and now what was so? If we don't ha- understand this verse rightly, we're not understanding what is taking place and the significance of what is taking place for us individually and as a whole earthly community. Amen? What are we celebrating at this time? You know, for all of eternity. Our celebration today is a celebration of all eternity. And we're going to pick up on this tomorrow. Just understand the significance. Peace on earth and goodwill towards men. And remember, God is the subject of this verse. God is the giver of the Word. God is the giver of the Son. God is the giver of the sacrifice. It's a wonderful thing to celebrate today. Merry Christmas. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.